Hello you guys, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am terrified, horrified, nervous, scared, anxious, on the edge of my seat, don't wanna be here, need to go, need to stop filming, we should probably cut and just um, come back next week. I'm scared for this. As you guys know, I just released my first ever song called Call Me Back. And as I said in some of the content around it, I was so beyond nervous to put it out. It's no secret that I've been singing forever. Unfortunately for me, a lot of those clips have been burned into pop culture and will haunt me for the rest of my life, rightfully so. <laughs> I was very scared to put out this project, even though it meant so much to me because I was scared of criticism. I was getting scared of being made fun of. I read through the comments on my actual social posts, on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and they have been so incredibly positive. It has meant the entire world to me that you guys have loved the song. I've seen your DMs, but I have been way too scared to look at anything else. I don't wanna get my feelings hurt. I don't wanna be upset. I don't know what is there, but in today's video, I have saved it because we are going to be reacting to the people reacting to my song. I don't really know what to expect today, which is why I'm kind of scared. I'm assuming and hoping that it's gonna be kind of like a, a healthy mix of reactions. I hope that some people will love the song. Like this is good. I'm sure that some people will not. I don't like him. That's okay too, not everybody will. And if they don't, I'm hoping to see some constructive criticism. I've been working really hard over the last couple of years to improve myself and I want to continue to do that. I just hope that if anybody gives any, it's nice because I'm sensitive. <laughs> this project means a lot. I'm also sure the people that'll be dragging me to hell and back too. I don't like this ah! Without further ado, let's just get right into it. We're gonna start off with video number one, and this is called Vocal Major Reacts to Call Me Back by James Charles. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh no. This video is posted by Miss Indie Games, and I am getting the vibe that um, she might not like it, but that's fine. I didn't know he was releasing his own music. <laughs> Nobody did, girly. <laughs> this is a surprise to everybody. Oh. Can't quit staring at oh, it's funny. Waiting for you. His voice has improved a lot. What the hell? Sorry, this is so rare. Yay! Oh my god, yay! His voice has improved. Thank you. I thought that you might like to know. Okay, the songwriting in this is really good so far. That you've been on my mind lately. Oh, okay, we're... I don't like him. I'm gonna I'm oh. gonna I'm gonna put that out there. I don't like him. <laughs> you know what? I respect the hell out of the fact that she's saying I don't like him, but I'm going to give this a fair review. That's all I can ask for. That's fine. I like the idea of this lyric video. It's just a lyric video. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't like him at all. <laughs> but I'm oh my God. Oh, okay. His voice actually has improved a bit. This, I yeah. like the song. T. His voice is a little meh in some places. You can still hear like the nasaliness. Spend so much time. I, I'm a vocal major, so let me love, love, love for a second. Slay, no, let me hear it. But his like throat is like, like you can hear it. It's like very back here. If he brought it forward though, his sound could be really good. Yeah, that's fine. I can totally, I can respect that. I've always had a very nasally voice. I actually used to have an even more nasally voice, but once I got my tonsils removed a couple of years ago, I feel like that made a massive improvement. It's still not the um, tone that I would personally select if I had the option to do so, but it's what I was born with and it's the voice that I have. So I definitely am always trying to improve whenever I'm taking my lessons and making sure that I am placing my my notes in the correct place. And it's something that I am still working on. So I can I can respect that opinion. I definitely can agree. I might do a cover of the song because I actually like the song. Period. Okay, I, I want to hear that. Miss Indie Game, let's hear. I don't like James Charles. I'm gonna put that out there. Every time that I get a little excited, she has to bring me right back down. Okay, we're onto the bridge, let's see. He literally like, let's belt the whole thing. And then he belts it and he's like, oh, what if we just do small? And that's all he recorded and they just clipped it in. Okay, that's the whole, that's the point, girl. <laughs> Call Me Back is all about getting ghosted and craving that closure from someone who clearly does not care about you. For a very long time, I was so obsessed with getting that closure from people that I would literally prefer them to be like, you're ugly, you're stupid, you're annoying and I don't wanna to talk to you anymore rather than just getting up and ghosting. So there, are, I'd rather have them hurt me and make me feel small irrelevant, stupid, quiet in the conversation rather than like actually just getting up and ghosted. But as I've grown up, I realized that when somebody ghosts, although it might be annoying, that is 
worth a thousand words. In conclusion, it seems like Miss Indie Games loves the song, had some critiques, I can respect them. They were good, I agree with them, and hates me. So can't win them all, thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next reaction. This is from Nylea, and it says, James Charles called me back reaction. This has 800 views. Slay, comments are turned off for the video. Oh God. I love James. Um, I think he's amazing. <gasps> I love and him super too. talented. Thank uh, you. There has been some vocal incidents in the past. Yeah. <laughs> calling, them, calling them vocal incidents is crazy. <laughs> The cover art I did see, it is so good. Like I actually love it so much. A lot of people have not been liking it. I personally think it is so my style and I really, really like it. I feel like if anything, from what I have seen, even people that haven't loved the song have been like, love the cover art. I haven't really seen much negativity on it. So aside from people thinking that it's AI generated. I mean, if somebody told me that like my makeup look was AI generated, that to me would be like, wow, like you did something that you think only a computer could do. Am I delusional? Uh, what? Wait, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Obviously, when we sh shot the album cover, I was not in front of a burning, demolished house. I shot it down here in the makeup studio with the white background, and I hired an amazing team, Max Asabin, to bring the whole image to life. I did a whole video talking about the story behind the cover art, so if you guys want to check that out, I will link that down below, but it's a really cool story. Lies. 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 This is not. <laughs> seen the music video. Thank you for clarifying. I'm obsessed with her. I'm over love that's digital. <laughs> Her is going. Oh god, I'm scared. What is she gonna say? What is she gonna say? It's so good. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought that you might like to know that you've been on my mind lately, baby. Although oh, it seems that you <laughs> don't. Oh. Oh my god. I'm like genuinely shocked. <gasps> yes! Like, this is good. Side note, her nails are so cute. I've been in my no nail era for the last couple of like months getting ready for the music stuff. I kind of miss them, but I'm in my, I'm mask for mask now, so. Hey brothers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You like that? <sighs> oh, I had almost gagged just to It is so good, like I wanna cry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you cannot cry because then I'm gonna cry. And call me back. Okay, she said she had a lot of final thoughts that she was gonna save to the end, so let's see what she has to say. I'm scared. James. Yes. Honey, that was good. <laughs> Thank that you, was honey. Good. This is getting added to my playlist, like right now. This is getting added to my playlist. Yay! The vocals, 11 out of 10. Like, so Nice, good. okay, slay. I want a music video. I want an album. I want a <laughs> world tour, James. Oh, girl, this is relax, relax. Really good. Love her. Thank you so much, Nylea, for reacting to the song. It means the absolute world. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. I appreciate you so much. I'm so glad you love it. There's more to come, and perhaps look at your music video. You're not getting your world tour, though, so. Sorry to disappoint there, Diva Doll. Let's go to the next one. So this video is from Lonnie. Lonnie Hines. Today we have a reaction video. I'm gonna be reacting to James Charles's uh, first debut song, Call Me Back. Oh God, I'm nervous. She's so pretty. She seems so sweet. Ooh, call me back. I like how they have it. Um, so far they're displaying the lyrics on old cell phones. So you got like a, a Motorola, a T-Mobile, a flip phone, um, one of those little kick phones where like you flip this. Yes, flip yes, the she gets all the references. Phone. Yes, Lonnie. Flip it up or something like that. I used to have one back in middle school. It was yes. purple. We got my LG I Neon. That was my first ever cell phone that we got in there. I got an iPhone. So far, so good. For the lyric video, it was actually a still shot, which is crazy to think about. I will insert the raw photo from the camera right here if you guys are tech nerds and want to see. Obviously, the single cover art is the demolished house. And if you'll notice really closely, I have all sorts of cell phones in my pocket on the ground next to me in my hand, kind of symbolizing like I'm literally sitting there prepared for when this person calls me back, regardless of whatever device it's on. So we thought it could be really cool for the lyric video to have all those same phones entangled in the demolition of the house. No. Yeah, she's singing along. Call me back. Period. This is giving me Sam Smith like back in the day. Love like, Way that. back in the day, like years ago. What a beautiful compliment. This, I'm introverted. So I, I be quick to just like ghost for no reason. Like, yeah. and I don't talk to folks. I don't really have no friends like that. But if I did have friends, bro, oh, they, be, be they probably friend. not, they probably think I wasn't even alive. Cause I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't really text like that. Lonnie, I'll like be your that. friend. I'll be your friend, girl. Like, A lot of people be ghosting. 
Okay, we have we have fucking Ghostbusters up in here hunting for Casper. Personally, for me, if someone's doing something whack to you, if they're being awful, if they're taking advantage of you, if they're not appreciating you for what you have to offer, it's perfectly appropriate to ghost and find better for yourself. But I'm somebody where if I'm really working on building a relationship with somebody, if we've been talking frequently, and if everything is still good vibes, like if I have respect for you still, then it's so lame. Just say what you mean. It takes 30 seconds to send a nice text being like, thank you so much for our time together. I just don't know if I'm feeling a spark. I don't know if it's gonna end up working out, but I wish you the absolute best. Of course it might hurt in the moment, but I feel like being left wondering what happened is more painful. Great song, loved it. I'm all for ballad. I like any and all type of music. So to Thank me, you, I love. think that this was a great introduction to him uh, going into a different medium as far as artistry. Great job. Please don't copyright me. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, copyright. girl. Lonnie, I love you. Thank you so much for this video. It was so cool to see her not only enjoy the song, but also like watch the video, pick apart the different things in the lyrics, try to like come up with her own interpretations of what she thinks that I meant, which were bang on almost every single time. So thank you for listening. I will be your bestie. Call me anytime. Okay, let's do some TikToks quickly as well. Okay, so this video is from Messiah's Diary. So James Charles released a song called Call Me Back. Yes. And we're gonna give our first and honest impressions. Oh God, I'm scared. You guys are gonna listen with me. Okay. okay we're starting. Oh, that's a good face, I feel like. That's a good face. Oh, that's not a good emoji, okay, though. Okay. Wait, is James sad? <laughs> is James sad? You know, was I sad when I wrote the song? Yes, obviously. But the real question is, am I sad now that I've released the song and get a chance to reflect on the situation? Still, yes. <laughs> No, no, no. In all seriousness, like it, it does come across like it's a, a sad song, but if you really pay attention to the lyrics, Call Me Back really isn't about like yearning for that callback anymore. It's more about realizing that callback is not coming and being able to find the strength to move on and find somebody that will call you back and will put in the effort and love that you deserve. Wow. Okay, we're bopping, we're bopping. Whoa! <laughs> you heard that? You oh. heard that? This is so good! Yay! Yay, yay, yay! This man could do everything, really. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. Could never. No. Sylvie, you better call him back! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was so sweet. All right, this next video is about Ali Rance. Oh God, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh God, is she gonna be ranting about the song? Let's see. James Charles is back in his music era and he came out with a single called Call Me Back. Yes, So he did. I listened to the song entirely and I know a lot of people have their thoughts and opinions about him, but I decided I wanted to approach my opinion about the song from an unbiased standpoint. Okay. Now, just okay. listening to the lyrics alone, I was actually kind of blown away by but like how deep the song was with the lyrics and how vulnerable it was. Thank However, oh. when it comes to James Charles singing, I don't know if I'm the only one. I feel like I'm more interested in hearing him hit lower notes. Like, you know, Miley okay. Cyrus, there's moments where she has her moments of like hitting a really good high note, but like everyone appreciates that like low tone that she has. And I feel like I want to see more of that from James. Okay. And we're just talking music wise. But other than that, the song was not the worst. I really did enjoy it. <laughs> okay. You know what? I can appreciate and respect everything that she said. That's, that's a good vibe. Obviously, Call Me Back is a very belty song. But I will say there are, well, there is more belty songs. I'm gonna be real. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. There are also some ones that I've written and worked on that are much more calm and are, are more reflective and are more just a good vibe. And I can, I can definitely appreciate that. I personally feel like my lower range is weaker in my voice. That's cool to hear. That's cool to hear that you actually really like the low tones. That makes me feel really good because that's an area that I personally want to work on. So thank you, Ali, for your thoughts. I will take that into consideration for the future songs for sure. That means a lot. And thank you for listening, even if you didn't love the song. So this is from Proud Pog. The caption says, James Charles, we love this for you. So I feel like this is going to be a good one. Let's see. Yeah, I just got off of Twitter and supposedly James Charles came out with a new song. So I went into my best friend's room and we're going to react to it together. It's called Call Me Back. You better work with that. was a quick little intro. Okay. She said, getting right to the point. She wants her views, and I love that. I'm over love, it's digital. Just her face. Okay. I know. Hold up. <laughs> Is this 
auto tune? <laughs> you heard that? The girl on the right face, I'm obsessed. She's literally sitting there like. <laughs> like dumbfounded. Wait, wait, wait. This wait. sounds really good. Did I do what the fuck's wrong with me? Okay, James, as if he's watching this, did you write this shit? This. Don't lie, don't yes. cap. You sound good. If you sang it, you sang it. But did you write this? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's been a lot of discussions online. I did write this entire song, but not by myself. I wrote this entire project with my good friend Noah. He is an incredible singer songwriter. If you guys remember the viral clip from a bunch of years ago, it was the boy on American Idol who said wig to Katy Perry. Wig, okay. Wig, did you just say wig? Yes. I know. That's Noah. We met when he was on the show, and then we met again a couple of years later and reconnected and wrote all the songs together. It was literally like an instant connection. We really bonded over a lot of the topics of these songs. He was really the one where I was able to tell my story and vent about the situations that I was going through, and he was really the one to help take it and translate my crazy stories into melodies and then the full songs. So I'm so appreciative of Noah. We would not have the songs if it were not for him, but we wrote every single one of them together. Yeah. Old James this does not sound like Old James would have butchered that. <laughs> <laughs> He's been working on himself. That's a hard Whoa. ass run. <laughs> I love that. That means so much. This is full redemption. I would be like in the car like, I would put Shazam on and Shazam this shit. <laughs> Woo! I love this. this. Oh my God, this, I, my smile is burned onto my face right now. Call me back. Call me back. Yes! <laughs> Snaps, snaps all good. around. Snaps. That was actually really good. James, all around applause. You killed oh, that shit. You. you ate it up. You had me gag. Why the, what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, yeah. I'm going to eat that up in the car. <laughs> Bye, James. We love you. We're back on the sister train. That was so sweet. What a fucking sweet video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for reacting like that. Literally could not stop smiling after that one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I am really glad that I waited for the sake of getting my reaction to these reactions on camera. But honestly, I didn't even need to wait. Most of these were so, so positive. And all the ones that did give constructive criticism or didn't love the song were at least really nice about it and gave credit where credit is due. And that means so much to me. I really appreciate that. Like I said, not everyone is going to love it, but this project means so, so, so much to me. And I'm really glad for the most part that everyone has really enjoyed the song. There's more to come. I've had so much fun doing this. This project literally means the entire world to me. And it means even more that you guys are loving it just as much as I am. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for streaming. Thank you for reacting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for adding it to your playlist. Thank you for streaming. We just hit 1 million streams. 1 million streams on Spotify. Completely natural, no playlisting, no radio, no money in anybody's pocket. I cannot thank you guys enough. It means so much and there's more to come. So thank you for your positivity and I hope you guys are really excited. On that note, I wanna say every single person that was featured in today's video, even if you didn't love the song, I still appreciate you regardless. Thank you so much and thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have any constructive criticism, if you have any ideas for future songs let me know what you want to see next i would love to read it it means a lot if you want to follow me on my other platforms my instagram and tiktok are just james charles make sure you follow painted at painted.co and don't forget to stream call me back on all profiles thank you guys so much for watching today's video i love you and i will see you next time bye Ooh, call me back